You need to forget ChatGPT because this new chatbot is set to take the crown. In user testing, it outsmarts GPT right across the board. On March 1st, Anthropic dropped a bombshell named Claude 3, the new king of the chatbot game. This one's not like any other LLM. It's a whole squad of specialized AI models, each with its own unique superpowers. Think of it as the Avengers of large language models. Let's break down this supergroup. First up, there's Opus. This one's an absolute beast with over 500 billion parameters. Some say even 2 trillion. This is the biggest and baddest language model around. It can handle anything you throw at it, from crunching business numbers to crafting killer stories. It even tackles pictures, generating captions and explaining what it sees. This makes it the biggest, most powerful language model on the block. Need complex financial reports analyzed? A gripping, plot-twist-filled novel? Or maybe you just want to see a picture of your dog described in detail? Opus delivers on all fronts. Then they have Sonnet, the creative genius of the crew. This model boasts a cool 100 billion parameters and has a way with words. Need a poem, a song, a hilarious tweet, or a message that sounds like your favorite celebrity? Sonnet's your go-to. Finally, we've got Haiku, the quick and nimble one of the bunch with a modest, yet mighty 10 billion parameters. It's ideal for everyday chats or brainstorming sessions. Haiku understands your lingo and offers helpful advice or even just a bit of playful banter. Now, we all know that size isn't everything, right? And Claude 3 has way more than just that going for it. Here's the thing. Claude 3 isn't just about brute force. It's smarter and more versatile than competitors like ChatGPT and Gemini. Plus, it's built with ethics in mind, which we'll get to in a sec. Take Opus, for example. It doesn't just handle business jargon. It dominates in financial analysis, predicts trends, offering insights and forecasts that put other models to shame. It's versatile, too. It even understands what's happening in images, creating detailed summaries or answering your questions about them. It does all this with pinpoint accuracy, leaving chat, GPT, and Gemini in the dust. As for its accuracy, unmatched. GPT and Gemini cannot compete. So what's under the hood that makes Claude 3 tick? Anthropic stuff this bad boy with cutting edge tech. So let's geek out for a bit. We're talking self-attention networks, like a mini brain that helps Claude 3 understand connections within text and images. This lets it make sense of information in a way that's clear and relevant. Sparse transformers. These are the efficiency wizards, which basically work like magic to reduce the computing power needed. This means Claude 3 can tackle even bigger, more complex tasks without getting bogged down. Plus, it paves the way for even more powerful models in the future. Constitutional AI. This is where Anthropic sets itself apart. Anthropic have built in a strong ethical framework centered around fairness, responsibility, and transparency. We've all heard about the very recent issues surrounding Gemini, right? The idea is to ensure Claude 3 acts in a way that benefits everyone and avoids misleading you or perpetuating biases. And remember how we mentioned user testing for AI models? Well, they're tested on everything from reading comprehension to answering tricky questions to recognizing what's in images. It's like an academic smackdown. In these tests, Claude 3 specifically opus hands down crushes the latest iterations of chat, GPT, and Gemini. In language comprehension tests, it leaves them behind. It excels at complex reasoning tasks, understanding images and even crafting captions that perfectly describe what it sees. This isn't just about having more muscle. Claude 3's accuracy and adaptability are on a whole other level of reliability. So how does Claude 3 translate to the real world? Let's look at some sectors it'll help to disrupt. In customer service, we're talking chatbots that go beyond the usual scripted answers, offering real solutions and leaving customers feeling like they've received unique responses. And for business analytics, companies are already tapping into Claude 3's data crunching abilities to gain insights into their markets that would otherwise take teams of analysts weeks to uncover. In the education sector, educators will use it to generate engaging learning materials that cater to different learning styles. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Its unique ability to handle both text and images opens up doors across countless industries. Here's another area where Claude 3 sets itself apart. Anthropic understands that different users have different needs and budgets when it comes to AI tools. 
That's why Claude 3 offers a smart, tiered approach to pricing and access, making it a great option for individuals, businesses, and researchers alike. At the top tier, we have Opus. It's the most advanced model in the family and demands significant computational resources and expertise. Naturally, this translates to a higher price point. It's $15 for processing an input prompt of up to a million tokens, and $75 to generate a million tokens for output. This pricing is targeted towards enterprises and research institutions that require the absolute best performance and can handle the complexity of this powerful model. Then there's Sonnet, which strikes a sweet spot between capabilities and cost. It's less computationally intensive than Opus, making it more affordable for both individuals and professional use. Priced at $3 to process a million input tokens and $15 for a million output tokens, Sonnet is perfect for tasks like writing marketing copy, generating code, or experimenting with creative text format. And as for Haiku, well, it's the most accessible model in the Claude 3 family, available real cheap to anyone curious about AI. It's intentionally designed to be lightweight, making it ideal for everyday conversations, playful interactions, and experimentation without any restrictions on usage time or generated content. By offering these different tiers, Claude 3 becomes both affordable and scalable. So here's what that means for you. You're not forced into an expensive model you don't need. With this flexible approach, users only pay for the level of performance and complexity they require. And there's room to grow. You can start experimenting with the Haiku model, and if you find yourself needing more power, you can easily upgrade to Sonnet, or even Opus, as your needs evolve. And the existence of an entry-level tier like Haiku all but removes the cost barrier, allowing anyone to explore the potential of AI without commitment. This is particularly beneficial for students, hobbyists, and those on a serious budget. But if you want to check out the competition, take a look at this video right here. So here's the bottom line, folks. This is why the average user will want to look into Claude 3. First off, it speaks your language. No more deciphering robot speak. Claude 3 uses clear words, adapts to how you talk, and even throws in an emojis when it fits. Plus, it's got a memory like an elephant. You can bounce around different topics and Claude 3 will keep track of everything, always giving you answers and info that are actually relevant. And if you ever need help understanding a crazy image, Claude 3 can caption it, explain what's going on, or even turn it into a hilarious meme. Basically, Claude 3 is the ultimate conversation buddy, always keeping things interesting. But it's not just about fun and games. It's also built with trust in mind. It keeps track of where it gets its information using a system called APA format. This means you can always double check the facts and make sure Claude 3 isn't feeding you nonsense. What's not to like?